In this tutorial I'm going to add some gadgets to our desktop. Now gadgets are small applications that can add novelty and help to personalize our desktop. If you've used Windows Vista in the past or you have Windows Vista, gadgets are on the right hand side on the sidebar and they're already preloaded and available to you when you use your computer. In Windows 7 though we have to look for them and what we need to do is anywhere on our desktop right click once a menu appears and second from bottom is gadgets if we left click on gadgets a box appears with the gadgets that we have available pre-installed on our computer now if we want to get more gadgets we can go by the hyperlink at the bottom right hand corner to get more gadgets online but what we're going to do is we're just going to run through these gadgets now we have a calendar a clock and then we have a CPU meter. Now a CPU meter is a central processing unit meter. And what it does, it monitors the usage on your computer. Now I would suggest until you know much more about your computer that you don't bother with a CPU meter at the moment. And next to CPU meter we have a currency. And we can use this to get a quick currency converter so we can get a rough idea of the change in currencies if we're going on holiday and next to that we have the headlines we can get the headlines so we can always keep up to date with current affairs a puzzle to keep us amused a slideshow of nice pictures weather we can get the weather on our desktop anywhere in the world and then windows media which takes us to Windows Media Center. Now I'm going to put a few of these onto our desktop and then we'll take a quick look at them. So I'm going to put the calendar, so if we double click on there, the left button, or we can use a right button, right click and just add clock, add, and you can see them appearing on the right hand side of our desktop. Currency, add, Headlines, add, and weather, add. Okay, and get exit out of the gadgets box. And then when we move our mouse or cursor over the top of the gadget, we can get some options available to us on the right hand side. We can close it, we can make it larger like so, smaller and we can drag it, so we can drag the gadget but we're going to move it to the middle, there we go now if I double click on this it opens it up and displays January and we can move the months like any other calendar clock, now if we move the mouse over the clock we can close it and we've got some options there. The spanner means we've got some options and also we can drag it. So let's just drag it in the middle and then take a look at the options if we click on the options. Clock name, we can put a clock name if we want there. We can put Big Ben if we wanted to. Um, and we can put a current time. So we could put the time for Caracas or Newfoundland and we can left click on there to select the time for Newfoundland and press OK and that gives us the time in Newfoundland and go back to options and we can change the way the clock looks as well we've got eight different clock types so there's another clock there's another clock, there's another one, there's a pretty one with flower, red clock, so all sorts of different clocks and if we wanted to we could actually name it as I say Big Ben, we could call it Newfoundland and then just press OK. So there's things we could do with the clock the currency, we can move that across, we can make that larger 
and we can also make these change the currencies so we can have US dollars and we can have we can have the British pound there news headlines move that across and if we click where the hand is view the headlines and that will turn on the automatic feeds okay now I'm going to make this one larger and then I'm going to drag that into the top corner right, so I've got my news feeds in my top corner and the last one I've got down here is I've got uh, weather and I'm going to go on holiday shortly so I'm going to get the weather in Spain so type in Spain for my weather do a search Madrid so Madrid Spain and instead of Celsius I'm going to have Fahrenheit and press OK drag that to the right hand side drag my clock to the top and drag so there we have and there we have there we have our gadgets thanks so much